Welcome back to Scale Speedworks. My name's Mike. I am just catching up after Christmas. Got a couple of Christmas cards I'd like to share with you guys. First one is from Jason and Heather over at the Blue Ox Model Shop. Jason, thank you so much for the card. I really appreciate it. And I hope you and your family had an awesome holiday. Thank you again so much. And if you guys aren't subscribed to Jason, I don't know why the hell not. Uh, but a link to his channel will be in the description of this video down below. Next card I got is from Jeff over at 48 Jethro 79 If you guys haven't checked out Jeff, you guys need to head over there and do so. Jeff is an awesome guy. And Jeff, I really want to say thank you for the card. I really and truly appreciate it. And I hope you and your family... Had an awesome holiday. And this just showed up in the mail today. I got a shop card from Daniel over at Model Cars. Daniel, thank you so much for the card. If you guys haven't checked out Daniel, you really need to do so. And you might really consider watching the entirety of his last video. He's nearing 500 subs. And he's got some really, really good information in that last video. So I highly, highly recommend you watch it all the way through. If you guys haven't subscribed to DDB over at Model Cars, you guys need to do so. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. Daniel, thank you so much. And now, a couple of things that I picked up recently. Have you guys ever seen these? I ran across them on the internet just browsing eBay somehow I came across them NPCs I, and I don't know how you say it fast 111s fast 111s anyway whatever they are super super cool I think they're based on on like Hot Wheels or Matchbox I'm not sure but I saw this and and I had to have it super Super cool. And I got it sealed. I don't, I don't know. Uh, shoot, I think this thing, 1981. Amazing. Still sealed. I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty stoked. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I, I'm, I'm sure I'm eventually going to build it. But it is 132nd scale. And for those of you who have been paying attention... There's a group build coming up in February, the small scale group build. So this might make an appearance, but that's not the only one. There's also that one, which is the dirt digger molded in yellow. And there's a dirt digger molded in red. So these are pretty cool as well move that out of the way i'll show you i again i got all of these sealed these were boy i want to say i paid i don't know 15 to 20 dollars each i think that's a hell of a deal um the reason i got this is because of these rear tires again this is 132nd scale i haven't looked at the tires but what i want to do is i want to make a mold of those tires and reproduce them a little bit bigger uh, i i don't know it's it's going to be a process i know but it's something that I want to do. But anyway, man, check that out. How cool is this? Again, this is 132nd scale. But man, yeah, you get a little builder certificate. That's pretty cool. And I didn't know this. It tells you a little bit about the car. That is pretty sweet. So, so there you have it. Again, 132nd scale. If you guys haven't checked these out, I mean, if it's something that you're into, go and pick one up. They are available, and, and really, they're the ones that I've seen, they're not that expensive. But I managed to get all three of these sealed. There's one other one that I could have picked up to complete the set, I guess, and I chose not to. Um, I just, I wasn't interested in building it, and I didn't feel like spending the money. But uh, I picked these up pretty excited about that 
Next thing I picked up, I don't even know if this is going to fit. Got on eBay. It's the uh, Low Boy trailer. This is the, uh, I believe this is probably an original or close to it. The box has definitely seen better days. I can't even, man, I can't even fit this thing in here. Uh, I'm going to have to open this thing up and see if see if there's a date on it. I, I don't see a date here on the outside of the box, but this thing is, uh, this thing's pretty cool. This thing's pretty cool. Now I did get this to go with the, uh, AMT bulldozer and I know those did come in a set, but, uh, obviously I didn't get the set. So I had to buy them separately. Um, so that's the only reason I, I picked up this, uh, this low boy trailer. So I'm excited to uh, open that and take a look at that with that, uh, that bulldozer one day. The other thing I picked up, and I'm, again, this is, this is something so cool. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this before, Charlie Mack built one of these not too long ago. And I'm going to leave a link to his video in the description below. But these things are so freaking awesome. This box is huge. This is an old monogram box. I believe these things were released in the 70s. Nineteen seventy-six. Nineteen seventy-six. Let's picture of the side of the box. Four-cylinder, forty horsepower engine. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, I had plans for this. I'm going to get to this. This is this is probably going to be a uh, a summer project, maybe maybe even next fall. It's going to be a little while before I get to this. I got a hell of a deal on this. I know these things, they're not hard to come by, but they can get pretty expensive. But I got a good deal on this because uh, it had already been started. And by already started, I mean the wheels have been assembled. The wheels and the engine. There you go. So, uh, again, I, I probably paid 30 bucks, maybe a little bit less. But this is going to be cool. So, again, I, I, do have, I do have plans for this. So let me close that back up. The box, again, the box has seen better days. I don't really care because I don't collect boxes. I don't, I don't care. So there's the box. And then to go with that, where'd it go? Oh, right here. To go with that, I picked up this at Hobby Lobby. I think I'm gonna convert that Mack Bulldog into a tow truck using this. And again, this has all the accessories. This has all kinds of stuff on it. All the Sunoco decals. Now those are pretty cool, and I'm I'm going to use those decals for something. I might even use it for the for the Mac Bulldog. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to use a lot of the accessories from this kit on that Mac Bulldog. And while I was at Hobby Lobby, I picked up this uh, this chain. This is actually kind of heavy. Um, it was, I mean, not too expensive. Twelve dollars, and you get six yards doesn't look like six yards in there but uh i'm going to be painting up this chain i'm going to weather it and it's going to go with a tow truck and uh and i'm looking forward to this project like i said probably summer maybe even spring it it should be fun that mac bulldog again uh, watch charlie max video watch his video on the bulldog and uh and you'll see he not only did he do an awesome job but the kit itself is pretty cool. Tow truck, Mac Bulldog, and I think that's gonna do it for the mail call this week. All right, and the last couple of things I got, not real exciting, but I got this glue, Crafter Pick, and this glue, the Quick Dry Tacky Glue. And I'll set those down like that so you can see those. To help me mock up some of the builds, sometimes, Tape just doesn't do it. 
or you you can't use tape like for wheels. So I got this stuff. It's it's all a form of white glue. It's supposed to be a little bit better. We'll see. I haven't tried it yet, but not too bad. This one was two dollars and forty nine cents, and this one was five dollars and forty nine cents. Hopefully, one or both of them work. And I also picked up this stuff, this DecoArt DuraClear High Gloss, and this I heard is good with like gauge faces or anything that you need to put a clear cover over. So I haven't opened this yet, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, hopefully it'll be good over, over dash decals um, and, and make like a clear gauge face. So those are the other couple of little things I picked up. And it's things that we should all consider when we go out to the store, to the craft store, to our local hobby store. We should find tools that are going to make us better model builders. A couple of dollars here and there. I mean, I imagine this is probably gonna take me pretty far. I'm probably not gonna have to buy this for a very long time, if ever again, as long as it's really only used for model building. I'm sure my wife or daughter might uh, decide to borrow this. But so what? $5.49, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. And even if it doesn't work, you still, you can't go wrong at $5.49. So again, just another tool to help us do our job. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.